Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be doing leak code 1877, minimize max pair sum in an array. This is one of those ones that is medium, uh, simply because of the description. Uh, in my opinion, it's really easy. So really all it's asking, I'm gonna get this list and explain. It gives you a list of numbers and it wants you to pair them up in a way that you minimize the maximum pair sum. Now that sounds confusing, but basically you get all the pairs, you sum them up, and you take the max of those sums. Now naively you might think, oh the smallest pair is the two smallest numbers, which is uh, 2 plus 5 and that's 5, or 2 plus 3 and that's 5. Um, the problem is with this is since we took that as a pair, we have to pair up all the other numbers. So what if 5 and 6 get matched? And that's 11. 11 is bigger than 5, so that would actually be our answer if we did it this way. And we can actually see, we can get it smaller. If we look at this example here, uh, we actually can get it to eight. Uh, so it's impossible to make eight as the answer if we do it this way. So what we really wanna do is we want to uh, sort this. And if we sort it, it's two, three, four, four, five, and six. Uh, so we sort it ascending, and we basically take the smallest and the biggest. And we keep doing that. And in this case, it would be two plus six, three plus five, four plus four, all of them are eight. Uh, so the max is 8. Now this is always going to be the smallest uh, because it's evenly spread out and we're not taking the two smallest and have to pair up the two biggest. Uh, this is always going to give us the smallest maximum. Uh, that's like my half-ass way of proving this, but basically uh, let's have our result. And let's return our result. Uh, let's go ahead and sort the numbers, as I said. We'll just do it that way. And let's go up till half of the array. Now I'll explain why I'm doing it this way. Okay, now we want to get the first and the last. So let's call this pair sum just to make it more readable. And we, the first is easy. And then let's add it to the last, which is just nums length minus one minus i. Now it's done this way because it's actually i from the back of the array. So at the zero width, uh, we want the zero width from the back, so it's just the last element. Uh, at the one index, uh, we actually want the nums dot length minus two, so the second from the back. So this is the pair sum, and because we have to take the maxes, we really go res equals math dot max, uh, whatever is currently at res, and pair sum. Now this is basically just going to run through and set the new maxes for result, so whatever the current max is, uh, with pair sum, it'll take the max of them. So let's go ahead and run this, and uh, it'll be accepted. Uh, so let's go ahead and submit that. And the reason, yeah, this just works because it's evened out. And this is actually a very slow solution, probably because we are sorting this. But, you know, uh, let's go over the time and space complexity behind this. So right away, this loop doesn't matter at all because we're sorting, and sorting is n log n. And this loop right here is n. So n log n is greater than n, so the time is actually going to be uh, n log n. And the space, uh, we're not using any extra space. Uh, we just have this integer array, and we have some result, which is just a variable. So space is actually just uh, constant. So yeah, uh, this is pretty simple. Uh, Hope it made sense. Uh, enjoy.